Hello. Again. Um, I guess last time I pushed a button, so I'm going to move this over here and try to not touch it. Uh, okay. So, if you're still with me, thank you. Um, in the last videos, I talked about the f how you could perceive the planets and their characters as different aspects of yourself, and then as the zodiac, as um, different characters you can choose from to embody. And I want to talk a little bit more about the zodiac. Um, there's 12 signs, right? And so, say you're figure out what they get, you know? Um, and when you have 12 of them, it's sometimes hard to see the pattern because um, that's a lot. But if you can break it down into smaller pieces, it's easier to kind of understand how they go. And so one way to do that is to separate them out by the elements um, because each zodiac sign has an element and there are four elements and three stages of each element. So that means that there are three zodiac signs for each element. There are three fire, three earth, three air, three water signs. And that makes 12. That's math. Um, so if you understand all the qualities of those different elements, you just think about them and really how they relate to your own experience. For me, that's the best way to do it. Um, then you can understand a little bit more about the different zodiac signs. So for example, the first element is fire. Um, you can go and look all this stuff up. It will tell you. <laughs> a lot of it for me is is through personal experience and my own kind of like introspection. What does fire mean? What is fire as a metaphor in my life? You know, like what what is fire about? Um, one way that it's been described is it's like a creative spark and it's intuition. And um, in Ayurveda, which is Vedic medicine, it is Agni, your digestive fire. Um, so maybe it's this exothermic reaction that happens that produces heat that allows all of life to exist. It's like the spark. Um, so there are three signs that all are fire, and that's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So of all the stuff that you see, like say you watch these Deborah Silberman videos that I am posting a link to, um, say you watch those and you see those three videos. You see the Aries video, you see the Leo video, and you see the Sag video. What do they have in common? One way you can think of it is they have this exuberant energy. They're like, ah, fire, I'm burning, you know? Okay, then you can go in and do the same thing for all the Earth things. Now, what is the element of Earth? Like I said before, Earth is related to ground, you know, the dirt, right? Because we call Earth ground in electronics, and it's and our earth is our ground, it is our soil, our dirt. Um, so the three signs that have earth in common, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, if you say you watch those videos and you're like, what do these things have in common? There's a lot of stuff about practicality, about being grounded, maybe kind of going a little bit slower with things, but like making sure you have your ducks in a row, that you're doing things the right way. Um, you, you know, find your own your own little, say, metaphor system of what you notice about it. But there's definitely some stuff in common there. And then there's air, which is, see, I'm looking at it, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Doesn't matter which order they go in. You could call it Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, too. Okay, so look at those three. What are they all related to? Um, well, air has a lot to do with thinking, the mind. I mean, think about where air is around us, how we breathe air in, um, there's clouds up in the sky, and how do my thoughts float out of my head? Think about the ideas. Oh, it's interesting, like, that we have, we use metaphors in art and stuff about what air is. You know, flying is, like, being able to, like, build these mental concept structures that we're just, like, bouncing in and out of and all this stuff. Um, so what do those, what do those characters have in common, too? You know, and the fact that they're thinking, perhaps. And then finally, uh, water is the fourth element. So we got Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Now what do all these things have in common? What do all the things that you know about um, uh, water, your experiences with water, um, what do you know about the earth and water, your body and water, um, what, kind of a, what kind of other things come up for you with water? 
So water is about emotions a lot of times. So like, for example, if you have a fear of, if you have a, a dream about drowning, then maybe you have this fear of being emotionally overwhelmed. I've definitely had dreams of drowning before, or like crashing into water. And there's this like, it's like being hit with a tsunami of emotion. Holy crap. So like, what are those, what are those, um, archetypes have in common around around emotionality and then the other thing that's interesting like I said there's three phases of each there's cardinal fixed immutable so for example within fire uh, the order say cardinal fixed mutable is like beginning middle end and uh, so that's Aries Leo Sag so how do these three signs how are they showing different stages of development of understanding and mastering their element of fire and then uh, you know, it goes on and on. I don't need to get into all of that. But then the other thing that's interesting, cycles within cycles, is that just going through the first four elements in the zodiac, starting with Aries, is a small sort of sub-cycle of the larger cycle of the zodiac because it's one-third of the whole thing. And there's another way that you can break down the zodiac. Um, like I said before, the zodiac you can think of as being uh, the stages of development in a human from birth to death. Um, and you can divide them up into 12 different pieces. Well, you can also divide them up into three giant chunks. And each of those is a stage of development. And we can call them um, animal, human, God is one way of looking at it. So the first four elements, the first four signs are all dealing with, are all different sub-cycles within animal where you're learning like a baby how to integrate all the sensory perceptions, how to dis differentiate yourself from the world around you, and how you, you know, fulfill your animal needs, your bodily needs, how to understand how to chew food, you know, all this like really basic stuff, how we learn how to be in a physical body. And then after that stage, that like one third, then we go into human, how we learn how to have an ego, how we learn how to interact with with other people, what we want to do with our own time, how we like establish our personality, our likes and dislikes, and all those things that can happen only after we figure out like how to poop, right? So then we do all that stuff, and then after that, we move into the third phase eventually of like this the the human or the god or the spiritual, and it's like you get to a point where you want to ask the question, what is the higher purpose? Why am I here? What am I doing? And then you maybe start thinking about God or religion or an even bigger picture, blah, blah, blah. And so that's the end of it. That's the end of the Zodiac at Pisces. The very last sign. This is the very last cycle of that. <sighs> There's just so much in here all the time. Um, so kind of, I, I guess I would say the short, the short end of it is when you look at all of the different characters, kind of start to see how they're, what they have in common and how they're representing these other patterns. And once you can understand these other sub-patterns, like understanding what the elements are, then it's easier to kind of get the bigger picture. It starts with these like really small little cycles, say like a cycle of just going through the four elements, or a cycle of going through three different stages of one element. And once you get that, like say I understand the three stages of fire, then that helps me to understand the three stages of each of the other elements. And then you build on that, understanding the different elements. And then if you do those two things, understand the stages of an element and understand the different elements, then suddenly you've pretty much got the zodiac. And then you're starting to understand these different archetypes, these different characters that you can choose from in your little video game selection screen. So that's that for now. Um, yeah.